Hey what's going on people and welcome to another video on the channel and in today's video we're actually going to be doing the This Week in Gaming for the week of February 1st 2019. Yes it's the first one in February and yes we're kicking it off with the This Week in Gaming. We're going to try and do it as fast as we can so hope you guys enjoy. Remember to like, subscribe and remember to check out my Battlefield 5 video which I do. I do Battlefield 5 and I do Black Ops 4 for game updates and I usually do weekly whenever they actually come out. I make videos about it so remember to go check it out. Link at the top. Link in the description and let's get straight into it so our first gaming topic for this week is about the free games for this month so all of these got announced this week so we're going to start off with the playstation plus ones which for the playstation plus is going to be the final month for playstation 3 and ps vita games until march 8th so yeah it's unfortunate for them but it you know it's it's quite old now so it kind of makes sense that they're only going to do playstation 4 since they do release four games on playstation 4. so if we start it off with the playstation 3 games which we have got dive kick and we have metal gear solid 4 guns of the patriots and for the ps vita we do have gun house rogue aces and dive kick as well and now for the playstation 4 we've got four games so for the star this is the big title for this month it is for honor so for honor will be available all these games will be available until march 5th so for honor it did come out on xbox first this time it's coming out on playstation and completely free to everybody then we've got hitman season one and then we do have gun house and we do have rogue aces it's kind of weird that they haven't got a dive kick as well because dive kick is a cross by on both of those two but it is still nice that they've actually got um nine games available for this month it's probably because it is going to be the last one for all of these different platforms so it is nice that they've added all those in so remember march 5th is the last chance to get in all of these games now if we go over to the xbox side so the xbox games with gold uh this week we've actually haven't really got the best of games but everybody knows that xbox has given out a lot of games in the past and you know it's it's kind of normal that they decided to slow down so for starters between the whole of february we do have bloodstained curse of the moon so that is from february 1st to february 28th and the other xbox one game is super bomberman r so that is between february 16th and march 15th now for our previous gen games we are going to assassin's creed rogue i know it has got a remastered but this is a backwards compatible game so this is between february 1st to february 15th and for our other game it is star wars jedi nice jedi academy so that is between february 16th to february 26th or 28th sorry um you know it's 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 not that long for the last ones and February is the, is the shortest month it's the reason my PlayStation has got it for a little bit longer but still it's round about I think about £80 or something like that for all those games so if you want to try out completely new games try out any of the games that I've mentioned now if we go over our other gaming topics for this week and we're going to start off with EA I know I go over EA quite a lot of this and this is about FIFA and um, if people don't know that you know EA have decided to get rid of FIFA points in Belgium uh, mainly because Belgium has had a crackdown on all of, like loot boxes and all of that so I think Overwatch doesn't have loot boxes in Belgium and now EA don't have FIFA points in Belgium so it is a, probably a good thing for people in Belgium and they have said EA has said that they don't think loot boxes is a gambling thing so it's kind of weird that they've done this but it is nice that they've actually you know responded to what Belgium have said about loot boxes and their morals towards it and all of that but they have said EA have said that uh, they want to have the choice of fairness value and fun which <laughs> if people have played FIFA it ain't the funnest it ain't the fairest and it's not really your choice you have to buy FIFA points unless you know it's going to take you I think for last gen I think it was going to be about um maybe nearly a whole year of playing the game just to get Ronaldo so that's that's a long time just to get one player and when you know you could just you know buy FIFA points and then you've got it all so it's a massive thing that I know that EA have to kind of fix and they've done it in every single game since the start of FIFA I feel like that's when they started to bring out FIFA points and these type of microtransactions and it's not fair that these type of games and you know epic games have actually gone and changed their loot box system as well so 
it's it's getting free to people since you know kids play these games quite a bit so it does make sense that they're actually starting to get rid of it hopefully it does come to different countries and hopefully ea reworks their system but my guessing is that i don't think they will rework the system so our next gaming topic is about a previous playstation developer called quantic dream so quantic dream was with playstation for 12 years and they've decided to go multi-platform now Play mainly because of NetEase. NetEase has given them, I'm trying to find how much it is. Right now I can't see how much it is, but I know for Bungie it was 100 million. And uh, Second Dinner, the ones that are making a Marvel game, it is 30 million. So it's probably around those areas. Um, but Quantum or Quantic Dream has made Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, and the Detroit game, which is very recent. Um, they're very story driven so it is nice that they're bringing it to other consoles instead of just PlayStation and uh, you know we're gonna have to see what they make it might be ooh, probably maybe like four maybe three four years until they make another game since 12 years with PlayStation they've made you know three games so four years between it probably about three years until the next game the games do look pretty good so we're gonna have to see what they do with this one and uh, hopefully it's pretty good now for our last gaming article, I could go over a lot of stuff, but we're only going to do a couple today. And this is about Sea of Thieves. So Sea of Thieves has announced that from now on and in the future, you'll be able to distance yourself from cross platforms. So the reason why towards this is because of the unfairness towards, um, you know, controller and keyboard. So, you know, they've allowing people to have an option to crossplay between Xbox One and PC. Mainly, if you've got a controller, uh, you can, you know, say, I don't want to play with people on PC. If you've got a keyboard on Xbox, you have a chance to play with people on PC. So, as well, they've actually hinted towards in that one that the keyboard and mouse combo for the Xbox One is coming with the support through sea of thieves so it's nice that they've actually added that in but it is nice that they're allowing people to have the option to do cross play instead of just properly just having it because it is a little bit unfair if you do like come against people who are on pc they've got higher frame rate they've got better quality and they've got a keyboard and mouse that means it's just quick aiming co <laughs> You know, it's a bit unfair, you know, it's kind of unfair since Xbox aiming is the slowest thing in the world and especially in a game where, you know, PvP is optional and people on PC might be loads better at PvP than Xbox people so that means people are just going away from it but it's nice that they've added that in. So that is the end of this week's This Week in Gaming. Hope you enjoy. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below for anything that you want to see on the channel, anything that I can improve on this, anything at all really. So I will see you guys in the next one. So peace out.